So I want to share with you guys a little observation uh, out here. And some of you guys are going to say, oh, conspiracy theories. And some of you guys are going to say, oh, that makes perfect sense. Uh, you ever heard of like cloud seeding? <laughs> you know, some of the conspiracy theorists say, you know, the planes are like putting out these chemicals, seeding clouds and, you know, making everybody crazy. Anyway, I think maybe there's some a little bit of truth to that because check this out. So I'm out in the Mojave Desert. In Los Angeles is that direction. Mexico is behind me. If you look up here, you can see all these clouds. These are jet contrails, okay? In fact, if you look way over there, you can see there's a jet making that one. These are all contrails from jets coming out of LA. There's one right there. You see how wide it is? It's getting wider and wider. There's one above it, it's even wider, and it looks like something else actually flew through it and made a line through it, okay? But if you look directly over my head, you can see that line going across there, it goes that way, and there's a line going across that way. These are contrails too. They've made this giant cirrus cloud, basically. Look, you can see a couple contrails that going you know, that way too. And there's a contrail in that big contrail right there. You can see one right there. And you can see that one going off. Looks like a rocket or something came up through here. It kind of trails through it. So these jets have made this big cloud right here that stretches from that horizon from LA as far as you can see that way going east like toward New York and the rest of the cities out there. So yeah, those are chemtrails. But they're the chemicals coming out of the exhaust on the jet, which is probably mostly vapor, but there's some other things mixed in whenever you burn flu uh, fuel. So I, th I think there actually is some, uh, some science behind chemtrails. It's just something that happens naturally when jets fly over, though. <laughs> They're not like dumping barrels of chemicals outside <laughs> at, you know, 50,000 feet. Or are they?